Hello everyone, today we're gonna review the Extreme Krill Flake Food. It's kind of a love story, goes back several months. But first, if you love freshwater fish like we do, we're fanatical about it, and you wanna watch more videos, hit that subscribe button, because this is all we do. Two videos every single week, till the end of time. We've got like a thousand videos at this point, so it's something for everyone. But we're talking today about the Extreme Fish Food and specifically the flake food. And the way the story goes, and I think there's a story here because I can endorse anything on the planet and I've endorsed products in the past and that kind of stuff. And I got a newsletter, you know, those newsletters you sign up for and you forget about and it popped up. I was on my cell phone and I saw, I'm like, wow, I haven't seen anything from Extreme in like a long time. And this was like in May and they were letting me know that they had now an Instagram page, which is like, wow, welcome to 2019, right? I wrote it on my phone, I was like, hey, I would like to try your foods again. I might even be willing to sell them at my store and that kind of stuff. They sent me a ton of samples, like one of all the things, right? And it was kind of overwhelming. Too much stuff, one of like every size. It was kind of out of control. And then I'd given most of it away when I finally stumbled upon the flake foods. So I was like, well, I'm not giving away the flake foods. Like I like flake food a lot. And then eventually I stumble upon this and I start feeding their marine flake. So I'm throwing it in there and the fish are going nuts for it. And I, I looked at the ingredients and I'm like, oh, that makes sense, krill. Krill is the first ingredient. Then I tell Randy, who also works, I'm like, this flake food, there's something about it. Like, I don't, like it's doing really good. Um, but the marketing's terrible. They're marketing a flake food to saltwater people. Most saltwater people don't feed flake food. I haven't tested it, but I would put a strong amount of money that a mandarin goby wouldn't eat this flake food just because they're typically only like live pod feeders in the saltwater world. That being said, I only, I'm only a freshwater guy, so I'm not an expert over there, but I'm like, that's some lofty claims. What I love about the food is this container. It comes in all different size containers. You can get a gigantic one that we don't sell. You can get a smaller one, which we do sell. Uh, but this is my favorite. You can get your hand in it. Boom. Apparently, even though I'm an overweight dude, my hand goes right in where Randy, skinny guy, must have mutant hands, doesn't fit in. He has trouble. But the flake size, while always variable, you know, you can crush it up, it's easy, and the flake itself, I don't know if you guys will be able to see this, but it's like a different texture. Yeah, you see all the like the little krill bits on there? Yeah, I just, I don't know. It is very easy to feed out and the fish love it. And that's what I think is the important part is the fish are going gangbusters for it. And yes, does it color them up long term? Yes, but I don't focus on you're gonna get insane color because you can feed frozen foods, you can feed other stuff and you can get there as well. But the fact that it lives in a jar next to my tank and is so easy to feed is what's amazing. And so we start working on the flake food and we get a new label for it. It's marketed towards primarily freshwater fish now. And hopefully it'll do well in the stores for them. That was the goal is like not just us, but we wanna launch this for everyone. And yes, yeah, so now here, I haven't fed out of this when I opened it on a live stream once. So that's why you're gonna be like, there's no seal, there's a seal. Uh, but this is what a new one would come looking like, you know, see the flakes are average size there. And what I can't give to you over YouTube is the smell of vision Like when you smell it, it just smells like a higher quality. And that's not, you can't quantify that other than you can go smell other flake food and you're like, this smells like it's better. And that's what we get from it too. And it, it feeds better. We didn't know that things like wild caught discus we brought back from Peru were gonna go nuts for it. Like we have video of that, we have, there's all these fish that were not known to be heavy flake eaters, they were going crazy for it too. And I believe it's because of the smell and the krill. Same thing with uh, Randy brought back angels from Peru, wild caught. They wouldn't eat frozen bloodworms. They wouldn't eat frozen brine shrimp. They wouldn't eat all these things. Finally, he got them to eat live black worms. So, phew, okay, they're alive. Turns out they love flake food. One day you just put the extreme flake in there and they ate it up. So now they eat primarily the flake food from Extreme, which you would think like if they're not eating frozen foods, they're not eating all this other high-end food, they wouldn't eat that. But what we're finding is very finicky fish are eating this. People go, oh, can bettas eat that? I'm like, well, they can, but typically bettas aren't big flake eaters. Like they like a meaty blood worm. They like a pellet. They like a freeze-dried blood worm. And we got emails in going, well, my fish love it. My, my bettas love it. And I go, well, okay then. Because we'd given out thousands and thousands of samples 
um, you know, containers, like actual full-on containers, at different events. And so people have been now trying it, they're leaving reviews, and you can go on our website, you can check out the reviews there. For many years I've been going, why doesn't someone make a high-end flake food that's expensive because it's got to be, has to be more expensive than bottom tier flake food if we want to use good ingredients. I love the fact that I can crush it up really fine for very small fish, like super, super nano fish or fry, that kind of stuff. Maybe you've got frozen blood worms, maybe you've got other things. I'm not saying replace everything. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying this thing's really good and it probably needs to be in your cabinet full of fish foods. I currently am mixing it with the spirulina crave flakes. So it's got a lot of spirulina in there. I do a lot of live bears so and they like that veggie content. Maybe your fish don't need that, but you know, if I was doing bettas, I wouldn't do the green flake and that kind of stuff. So check it out on our website, read the reviews, whether you buy it or not, now you're a little more educated about it. Uh, you can look at all the protein percentages. You can look at all the ingredients on there. This krill flake is a home run and I fully endorse it and I actually use it. And I recommend you guys give it a shot. That's all I can say is give it a shot. And if you don't love it, I would be surprised outside of feeding it to the wrong type of fish, which, you know, so far seems to be quite the wide uh, swath of fish. So good luck, enjoy, and we'll see you in another video. Hit that subscribe button.